What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another Pokemon Unite video. In this video I'm going to show you how to play Charizard effectively in Pokemon Unite, what skills to use and what items to pick. Let's take a look. Charmander and Charmeleon are not the most reliable Pokémon in the game, but when evolved into Charizard, it can use its powerful moves to attack and deal damage over a wide area. So keep that in mind, you are everybody else's food before you turn into Charizard. So first, let's take a look at the item pool I recommend you to use. Charizard relies on its basic attacks a lot and it deals physical damage with its skills, so we are going to focus on boosting our attack. The first item we are going to pick is Muscle Band. Muscle Band increases speed and damage of your basic attacks and you'll be using your basic attacks often. The second item I recommend is Scope Lens. Scope Lens boosts your critical hit chance and critical hit damage, making your basic attacks even more deadlier. The third item I suggest is Energy Amplifier. Energy Amplifier increases the damage you deal after you have used Unite Move. It also reduces the cooldowns of your moves and increases the amount of collected Aeos energy which means you get to use your Unite move more often. For the battle item you should use Aeak Button. Aeak Button allows quick escapes or sneaky scoring and is just the best battle item to have. So now we have our items, let's take a look at the skills. Charizard's passive ability is Blaze. It increases Charizard's critical hit rate when it's below 15% HP, so it's not something you'd want to utilize, it just kinda happens to proc. The level 1 skills are Flame Burst and Fire Spin. Flame Burst spits a bursting flame that burns opponents. Hitting an enemy also increases your movement speed. Fire Spin creates a vortex of fire that slows opponents and damages them over time. The first skill you should pick from these two is Flame Burst because it allows you to take down the first few neutral Pokemon faster. Level 5 skills are Flamethrower and Fire Punch. Flamethrower breathes a blast of fire that burns opponents. Hitting an enemy will increase your movement speed. When upgraded, this move will have increased damage and burn damage. Fire Punch dashes you forward, damaging, displacing and burning opponents. When upgraded, this move will have reduced cooldown with each basic attack. From these skills we are going to pick Fire Punch. Mobility is very important in this game and that's what Fire Punch gives us. Level 7 skills are Fire Blast and Flare Blitz. Fire Blast creates a flaming vortex that damages enemies that stay inside of it and decreases their movement speed. When upgraded it will deal increased damage. Flare Blitz shields you as you charge to the enemy, damaging and displacing enemies in your path. When upgraded, it will also decrease the movement speed of your enemies. From these skills we are going to pick Fire Blast. The AoE of this skill is huge and it deals 3 times the damage that Flare Blitz does if the enemy stays in the area for its whole duration. It has nice offensive and defensive uses. You can shoot it to your goal area from safety, preventing the enemy from scoring for a while because the ticking damage and do stalling them nicely so your team can get back into the fight. And the level 9 Unite move is Seismic Slam. It launches you into the air, letting you fly over obstacles. During this effect your basic attacks will deal increased damage, burn opponents and heal you. On the second activation you grab one enemy, fly them to the air and slam them down dealing massive damage. The flying effect will end after the second activation, so the trick here is to deal as much damage as you can while flying and use the second activation just when the skill is about to finish. You can't use your other skills while you are using your Unite move, so use those skills to wear down the enemy before finishing them off with your Unite move. After your Unite move ends, you should then have your Fire Punch ready to go and only few seconds to Fire Blast. For laning I find success in both lanes and also in the jungle, but your team most likely will have a better option for jungling, so I just stick to the lanes and stay safe until you evolve into Charizard. Overall, Charizard is a nice all-arounder that can deal some damage and take it while not being the best in either one. If you find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon Unite content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.